so all these bhavas and god or krishna appearing in these bhavas were the uh, was the crux of the, of the stories and for every story we had songs accompanying it that narrated and they were all in hindustani classical music and at that time because i had started uh, i was in administration aditi upadhyay who's also a famous singer had um, joined to join to teach music so between the two of us we did this entire bahav yatra the two teachers as well as and we opened it up to alumni as well as the existing students as well as faculty as well as parents and there were 42 of us who did this entire show 42 you know uh, that did this entire um, bahav yatra show uh, in um, in that beautiful theater in koramangala um, and then after that show people you know they i we got an offer from srishti which had just started the srishti school of art design and technology to do the similar thing but making it um changing the theme so we uh, you know by then shabnam vermani who is a very well known uh, filmmaker she had she was in srishti and she had she and i had started working on the kabir project i had left aditi by then and uh, on one long train journey we discussed this whole thing about ragas how did a raga develop okay so the story of the raga rag katha was the next show that we entire script shabnam wrote out with input from me during that one train journey and then we did rag katha which you know finally we did about 20 25 shows each of bhav yatra 20 25 shows of rag katha because then we said we are not confining it to any institution like aditi or uh, srishti alone anybody who is interested can join so we did have that core group of uh, people uh, some of whom like nandini kamat was a uh, aditi parent is still there with us some of those people who started and that's how sunad was also born and then we moved on from uh, such productions at one point aditi got very much more involved in her profession as a musician and this took a lot of time so she she stepped out by which time you know 2006 i got involved in learning dhrupad and then you know ramakant gundecha ji joined us and the gundecha brothers both of them joined us and they um composed the music for several upanishads that we did right kathopanishad and uh, ishavasi upanishad that we combined with the verses from rumi jalaluddin rumi so it was called isha rumi beyond form and then we did uh, um mandukya upanishad which we combined with the saints poetry of the saints so it was mandukya santvani and most recently we did the keno upanishad so you know it it has been a wonderful journey there too where we have stuck to pure classical music moving from khayal which was what we used to use when uh, aditi and i started sunad to now dhrupad you know which i feel actually works very well for a group because it's so structured again and uh, you know we've done now 102 shows in all over 20 years of being in existence and the production is something for each of your presentations that people talk about the production quality the detailing so all of this comes from the years that you've been doing drama and music together where where does this need for perfection in production come so uh, you know the whole theater thing actually um combining music with theater and the attention to detail i owe a lot of it to arundhati raja and jagdish raja you know because i did so many productions with them for children you know we did the insect play we did we did several plays together we did midsummer night's dream with club indian music 
We did the entire, um, with a cast of 50 people, we did um, George Orwell's Animal Farm in music. So, you know, uh, I, I, I did so many productions with them. And, you know, uh, Arundhati Raja and Jagdish Raja, while well, they were very professional in what they did, they were not, in a sense, professional theatre people in the sense that their livelihood didn't depend on theatre. Yeah, so for me, that was a great model for Sunad, that we do things as professionally as we can, but all of us are not professional musicians. You know, uh, we are all professional something else. I'm a professional teacher, teacher educator. Uh, there, were, there are doctors in our group, there are uh, lawyers, there are homemakers, there are uh, students. You know, there are, there are people who come from all walks of life and from different um, states of India also. And, uh, you know, we, we just bond through music and theater. You know, theater becomes a very important part of each of our productions as well. And we have the fortune for Mandukya Santwani to have a person like Sunil Shanbag agreeing to come and do the theater direction for us. He was fantastic. And just, you know, if you watch theater people, every time we've had fantastic theater people, you know, so we had Raj, uh, first we had Arundhati Raja and Jagdish Raja, who has, who directed some of our Kathopanishad. In fact, uh, Jagdish Raja was our first Yamadu, Yama in Kathopanishad. And then when he couldn't travel with us, etc., after some time, um, Ravi Narayanan came in as, as, the, as Yama. And uh, Ravi Narayanan did over 40 shows with us. You know, and he, again, was deeply into theater, along with Arundhati and Jagdish Raja. He had done so many um, uh, productions with them in in theater, so many, over so many years. So, you know, uh, we had, and those first we had them directing, Runa, Arundhati Raja and Jagdish Raja. Then there was Rajeshri Dutt, who directed several shows, there were several productions for us. She was also part of Arundhati Raja's uh, setup very many times. And then she, directed several several shows for us and then we had you know Sunil Shanbag as I said and, and just watching each director their different styles of direction and what they did with our music primarily because for us music was the most important ingredient theater was alongside you know but music was the most important so uh, keeping that in mind bringing in the dance we brought in a lot of dance as well yeah so we had dance we had theater we had all that um it 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 was it's been great fun we've had movement uh great movement um direction also most recently in kenopanisha that was from um, uh, priyadarshini ghoshom uh, and sridhar hegde with yakshagana you know so in in the kenopanisha there is a story in which a yaksha appears. And that led us to think, oh dear, we should we should think of Yakshagana this time. And so, you know, Sridhar Hegre, who was again one of my students when I taught music in the Natya Institute of uh, Kathak and Choreography, he was one of my students. When I asked him, he said, yes, Didi, I'll come immediately. And he came and he spent so many days with us and he choreographed the whole thing and he trained people here to do it. He himself did the role of the Yaksha. When he couldn't, after some time, then there was another dancer from his group who came and did it. So we've also taken the help of professional people to come in. You know, that really leverages our quality. You know, whenever we have professional, so uh, professional accompanists, professional uh, players, yeah, that has really, really, you know, made a difference. Wow, this is so nice because it seems that Providence has placed all the right people in the right places that when you seek a need and the person who can provide the need appears to make sure that the production goes as per quality. Wow. Yes. <laughs> now, 